Team One is a great way to collaborate live with other members, even if they're remote or not in the same room. Let's take a look at how we get started using the Team One program. So it's web-based, so you're gonna need to head to the website www.myviewboard.com. Make sure that you sign in or sign up in the top right corner. Once you are signed in, you might get to this web page here. If your web page looks a little different than mine, uh, it might be because you're on the older version of myviewboard.com. So at the top, if you see this try it now, go ahead and select that try it now to get you to this page. You're going to see a bunch of tiles and one of those tiles is Team One. We're gonna click that and that's going to open the Team One homepage. Now you'll notice over here on the left, you have some navigation. Uh, you can have different teams. So I'm currently a part of four teams. You can create new teams or you can switch between these to manage your different boards. So for example, if I switch to VSA education, the boards that I have in here are gonna be here or if I switch back to this team, I'm now in this team and I have different boards. Now you're gonna see some recommended templates. We have lots of built-in templates. It'll also show you any of your recently opened boards or if you wanna create a board from scratch. You can also go to the templates here by selecting boards or templates on the left. These are gonna have lots of different options for you and you can preview these and decide if this is a template that you would like to use. Now I've already used one of these templates to get started, so we'll go to boards and I'm just going to select mine to open it up. And I went ahead and added some content into this, but really the idea of these is to have collaborative team members add their thoughts and ideas. So this is just kind of a sales strategy uh, Kanban board and what it's going to do is let us kind of plan out what's our to do, what, what are things in prog progress, what are questions we might have, or what are some things we've already accomplished. But in order for me to add team members, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to go to the top right and you'll notice that there's this share option. Now there is an ability to display a QR code, uh, but I want to share this with team members who are not in the room with me. So I'm going to click share and I could add them by email but I'm gonna do it by link. Uh, we use Microsoft Teams, so I'm just gonna drop this link into our Teams chat. And you'll notice here uh, that I can change the sharing permission. So maybe I only want people to be able to view it or edit it or edit and manage. Since this is kind of a core team, we're gonna do edit and manage. And then in a minute here, I'll show you how we can manage access. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here, we'll open up our Teams and we will quickly share this. Now that we've shared the link, we'll give a minute for our team to join. And if you wanna monitor who's online, you'll see this icon on the top right next to share showing online users. So we can now see that people are starting to join our board. So we have Cal and Tani. I can also go in here and I can manage my share settings. So you'll see here it's showing the two members who have added. I can click manage access and it's going to show me who's all in this board and I could even change their individual permissions. So maybe I only want them to be able to view or other people can manage and edit. So we'll give another minute to let everybody join, but that's how you get started with team one. You go to the website, myviewboard.com, sign up, uh, make sure you're on the new web page design, open team one. You can create a new team for yourself, create new boards based on templates, and then share that link out or add people by email to go ahead and get started.